Both know the rules, I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, above all, protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, ten rounds. Both fighters in fantastic shape. Anthony Yard's been in something of a holding pattern for much of this year. He should have fought Baterbiev in October, but injury to the Russian world champion prevented that fight from happening. He's the WBO's mandatory challenger and should get the chance to fight for that belt as well as the WBC and IBF titles in the new year, provided, Richie, he comes through tonight. That one loss was a stoppage defeat, and he just caught a shot there on the top of his head that almost made him take a knee. Kluikov himself, like you said, he's dangerous early, but he just walked onto a right up a good there. That was a good shot from Anthony Yard. And he's going to try and let his own shots go when he gets the opportunity. That's the way he fights, it's the only way he knows how to fight. And he's in there to try and fight fire with fire against the big punching Anthony Yard tonight. He's had three fights, Koykov, since Yard fought Lyndon Arthur. He's won all three inside the distance. He felt that punch, though, from Anthony Yard. It's a great body shot whipped in there by Yard. He's been patient so far. He felt that Koykov. Yeah. He shook his head as if he didn't it didn't bother him, but that's the sign that it did. He felt that one all right, and now Yard getting into a rhythm. Started to dig those punches in Yard. Just missed with that chopping right hand. Goes to the body, mixing up the attacks quite well here. Started to find his range and started to find the target. Yeah, the left hook of his is a really dangerous shot. There's also the right hand downstairs that the that Koykov, well, you know, he's not looking out for. Just whips that shot under that left elbow. <laughs> yeah, flipping out that left jab. Yard digs that left hand in again. And you can tell every time he sinks one of those body shots in, it gets a reaction from Koykov. The hard punches that thud into the rib cage of Koykov. Yes, yeah, starting to show the signs now that he's really been affected by these shots downstairs. On the back foot, retreating, and Yard's going for it. I think there might be a cut as well with Koykov, who's starting to show one or two signs of wobbly legs. This might be the moment for Anthony Yard to really go through the gears. Koykov starting to unravel in there, down he goes. Two, three, four, five. And you wonder how much is left in the tank of Stefani Koykov. And that's it. Anthony Yard is back. Anthony Yard was ferocious. Anthony Yard has another stoppage victory. And Anthony Yard is ready for Arta Baturbiev. Right hand to the body there, just blocks the, the left hand that comes back. What's this um, switch of attack there? Left hook to the head, left hook to the body. The body shot really did the damage there. Two left hooks here, and then rips that right uppercut through, and that's what took Kuykov off his feet. So, yes, impressive power, precision boxing there from Anthony Yard. Good shots, powerful. Every punch he's thrown with intent and power, and he gets through. 14 stoppages inside three rounds now for the lethal and destructive Anthony Yard. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 31 seconds of round number three. Our referee in charge, Kevin Parker, reaches the count of 10. Therefore, your winner by way of knockout, Anthony, the beast from the East, Yard!